Today we talk about XRs, which is a command that I learned about at work, I think last week. But I kept using it almost daily because I find it so nice. I thought I'm gonna make a video about it to show you what it is and how I mostly use it for my daily tasks. XRX is a command in Unix-like operating systems that allows us to pass the output of one command as arguments to another command. So, in other words, we can execute multiple commands in one go. So, let's look at some examples. And the first one is moving uh, multiple files in one go. And for this, we go here and see we have uh, three txt files and two csvs. Say we want to only delete the txt files. So we open a terminal here. What we want to do is we can uh, use the find command to uh, select all txt files so all files that have a name which ends with txt and they are displayed here and now with the xrs command we can pass each of these um, outputs as inputs for the remove command so we can do a pipe and the pipe is transferring the output of the find command to whatever command we put after the pipe. So if we write here remove, oh sorry, if we put here xargs remove, let me open this, then we remove the files. Super nice. Next, I wanted to show an example with images because I work with a lot of image data and very often I have to move files from one directory to another based on files that contain the names of those images. So in this case, I have uh, images in this folder. And then I also have a txt file with uh, the names of some images. I put here just the images with an odd number and let's say I want to take and copy all the images from train 2017 that are in subset A and uh, place them in other folder called let's say subset A. First we make a directory with um, subset A name All right. Okay, we can use the cat command to check what we have in the txt file. As we showed before, we can use this output as uh, arguments for the next command, which is going to be a copy command. So we're going to use the cat command to display the input of the txt file. And uh, now we want to add the pipe command to transfer the output of this command to the next command, which is the xargs. And we will want to copy each of these files from the source to destination. The source is the train 2017 and the destination is subset A. For the source, we need to specify the precise name of the file. So we will have to use the I option, which is representing like a placeholder. So we pass arguments one by one from cat to xargs. When we do the copy command from a source, then we're gonna replace the empty brackets with the placeholder, so the name of the file. So this is the source and the destination is gonna be subset A. We hit enter and here we should see yes all the images that are also enumerated in the txt file. 
so that's nice so this is how we can copy files based on the content of file so next i thought we could do something just a bit more complicated but not co too complicated which is uh, if in subset a i have all the odd images then i want to directly put all uh, the even images in directory which is subset b so so i want subset b to contain 0 2 0 4 0 6 so first i want to find all images that are in train 2017 and then path where I want to look at all JPEG files all right now with the pipe command I will pass this output to a grep command which is gonna filter out uh, the files that are specified in um, subset A. So we're gonna do... So if we do it like this, just the F and then specify subset A, then uh, it will match all the files that uh, are in uh, subset A txt file. But uh, we want to get all the files that are not there. So we will invert the grab command with the V option. And now we obtain the images with the even name. All right, and with another pipe command, we will pass the output of the grab to the Xargs. So with the Xargs, we will copy again. Oh, I forgot the placeholder option so we will copy each of these sources to a destination which is a subset B and now subset B we see that we copied all the even uh, images and that's it i hope this was useful and let me know if any of these uh, commands could have been done in a simpler way and yeah good luck using xargs in your work bye bye